you're watching Theme Park Worldwide where we're here at Resorts World Sentosa in Singapore for our first ever visit to Universal Studios Singapore. Oh, I am so excited. So this park opened in 2010 and it's home to five roller coasters. Now it's got some of the Universal classics here such as the Mummy, oh, Transformers oh, wow. the Ride, but also it's got some really unique things as well such as a Jurassic Park themed rapids ride. No rapids. Along with that there's a couple of coasters that I'm really interested in and that's Battlestar Galactica. I'll talk more about that when we get inside the park. But it's going to be an action-packed vlog. Opening hours are only 11 a.m. through until 6. So we've got quite a lot to pack in. We have indeed. But it's not a huge park from what I've seen. It is pretty small. However, it looks like it's got some really nice attractions, some great theming as well. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing exactly what another Universal Park's like, we to be honest. We love Universal Park. Yeah, we do. We've done the Orlando Park. Of course, we've done Hollywood as well. Uh, so I'm expecting this to be a bit of a hybrid between the two, really. I, so. uh, I think it's going to be a bit bigger than Hollywood, but obviously not as big as the Orlando Resort. But uh, come and join us in this vlog as we experience everything that Universal Studios Singapore has to offer. Here's a look then at the entrance to the park and of course the iconic Universal Globe there as well. Spinning round and here you've got all the misters. That's what we want to see, especially when it's so hot like it is. I mean, the sun might not be shining much here, but it is really humid. So I can't wait for the rapids. Oh, not the rapids. <laughs> Looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, here's a look at the entrance to the park. Of course, you've got the archway over there as well, which looks really nice. And yeah, it's a very different style entrance to the other Universal parks. Yeah, the archway in particular looks really different. Different. And of course we are here at Resorts World Sentosa and yeah make sure you check out uh, the previous vlog to this one where we show you our hotel and a little bit of the resort here as well um, because yeah it's not actually a universal resort it's owned by Resorts World um, but yeah the park itself is universal. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah really looking Lovely. forward to this but yeah park's opening at 11 o'clock got about half an hour to go until we're going to be heading inside. So we're just waiting for the park to open now down here at the turnstiles and I am so excited. There you've got the monorail that runs over the entrance here as well. It's all part of Resorts World Sentosa. And yeah, here we go. Here's a look at the park map. So it's split across six different themed areas. You've got Hollywood, which is the entrance. And yeah, this is all undercover. You're going got New York round here where you've got lots of different facades and yeah, lots of eateries. You've got the lake in the middle, Sci-Fi City. This is Battlestar Galactica, which is the two dueling coasters. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like how the Hulk interacts with the lake in Islands of Adventure in Orlando. So yeah, looking forward to that. And of course, you've got Transformers there as well. You've then got Ancient Egypt up here at the top. Inside that show building is the Mummy. Inside the Lost World, of course, the big signature attraction is the Jurassic Park Rapids. So yeah, that looks fantastic. Along with that, you've also got Water World that's here, uh, which is a show that's at other Universal parks, including Hollywood. But yeah, that isn't on here at the moment. Um, it's not been on since the pandemic, but hopefully it'll be back at some point in the future because that is a brilliant show. I've seen it loads over the years at Hollywood. And then you've got far, far away down here, huge family area, of course, with Shrek. Uh, and yeah, you've got the big castle down here, which looks brilliant. It's quite big actually as well from what we've seen and there you go that is a map of the park but yeah looking forward to this it's not huge however what they've got here looks really nice and yeah as soon as these gates open just here we'll be walking in to the undercover streets of hollywood oh here we go hey. i like these little clappy things they've got for some boots Woo! oh i love it here we go! Yeah. The louder you are, you can might win some express passes. Oh, so here we go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, it was worth doing all that screaming and shouting. We won! Yeah. Hey, we got five express passes! There you go! Oh, what a start, honestly. Here we go, welcome to Hollywood in Singapore. Park's just opened. Yeah, to be honest, it's quite a bit busier than I was expecting, so they might come in handy, them express passes now. Oh, look at this. Thanks, Puss in Boots. Look at this. Oh, I love it. Obviously, you got all the trees out as well for Lunar New Year at the side. And yeah, look at all the facades. Very similar to what you see at Universal Studios, Florida. Oh, I'm so happy just to be here and see something brand new. Oh, look at all the facades around here. It's amazing. And yeah, sections of this area are covered over as well. You've even got Mel's just over here. There we go. That's a popular eatery that we love. 
over in Florida. So yeah, you can got males here in Singapore. Yeah, oh, I love this. Fantastic. What a start to the day, Charlotte. Oh, no, what a start. First impressions of the park. Really nice. It looks lovely. Yeah, it's great. All finished off. Like we're walking around Hollywood and down here into New York now. This is really nice. Love all the details on these facades around here. And yeah, it's great how it's covered over, especially with how hot it gets here. I mean, the humidity is really high here anyway, but yeah, especially if the sun was beaming down as well. It's quite a cloudy day today. But yeah, if the sun was beaming down, it would be unbearable. So yeah, it's nice how they've got the cover over to make our way around here. Well, as I expected, I'm really getting them Hulk at Islands of Adventure vibes from this, especially with the lake just over there. And here we go, it's Battlestar Galactica, two of my bucket list coasters of the trip right here. Looking forward to these, manufactured by Vacoma, opened with the park in 2010. One of them is a family sit-down coaster, the other one's a more thrilling inverted coaster. And yeah, with this, they actually used to feature trains with four across seating, but they changed them to two because it was having some issues. But here we go, we've got lockers over there. Do we need to use the lockers or can we leave bags in the station? I'm not too sure. These are all things that you discover when you come to a park for the first time. Yeah, they've got to go in lockers. Have they got to go in lockers? Right, we'll uh, go and put them in and we'll get some off-ride shots. Obviously, we're at a Universal Park, so filming on ride is very, very limited. We might be able to on a couple of bits, but obviously not on these coasters here. of Battlestar Galactica. Lisa managed to get them. We started off with Human, in fact you'll see it in a second going just behind us. That's the family coaster. I thought for a family coaster it was okay, but there were certain bits I thought we was going to stop, it was going so slow. It was quite slow and I think that's one of the reasons why they reduced the amount of seats that are yeah, on there. I'd say so. The good thing is the trains are wide, but you know, they are themed. You can't really tell that they took no, the seats off as much um, on there, but yeah, it was quite good. There was no real airtime or anything like that. However, the lift hill's great. Yeah, it's a launch lift hill. It was brilliant. Both coasters feature a launch lift hill. Uh, the good thing is they're both quite long as well, which is good. And then we went on to Cylon, which is the inverted coaster, and that was fantastic. Oh, that was so good. I loved it. Yeah, five inversions on there, including a loop that's dug right into the ground. Reminded me of Nemesis quite a bit, actually. And so, uh, yeah, it was dug right in the ground. It took me quite, quite a lot of surprise because we'd slowed down quite a bit and then we really went down into that, which was good. It was quite good. intense. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, it was great. In terms of the restraints, I thought they were okay. Yeah, the restraints, not for me. They proper digged into my legs. I found it a little bit uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, they are vest restraints, but they don't lock um, really tight, which is, which is good, good yeah. you know, so you can move about quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, that was a great coaster. I had some good bits of airtime on the invert as well, which was good. The yeah. launch lift deal. And overall, a fantastic ride I but really enjoyed it. I tell you what it's a package seeing two coasters a family and a thrill built together I think it's fantastic it worked really well yeah I really like to see more parks do that but no what a great way to start the day bucket list coasters for me because of just how they look really so unique, unique isn't it? sadly they weren't dueling they were dispatching them separate so uh, which is a shame I was hoping um, to have a dueling ride on there there was one after us that nearly was a jeweler oh, no. um, but yeah it we, would make it if there was going together yeah it would I mean it's originally designed for that but obviously it depends on you know how the running it they're both on one train 
it's pretty quiet. Um, but yeah, you can't take any bags, phones, cameras, or anything Nothing. like that into the station or the queue. Uh, much like Universal in Florida, you have a full scan down before you go on. Um, that's why there is no footage in the station or anything like that. Like I say, Universal Parks, footage is quite limited, but we'll capture as much as we can do. Right then, we're making our way now here into the Lost World. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> Look at this, hey. The good thing is, we can actually go on flyers here I without know, a kid. So there we go. Look at that. Fantastic. We are going through the iconic gates just here into Jurassic Park. And yeah, instead of it being a flume ride, it's a rapids here at this park, which is really interesting. But yeah, look at this. Music's playing, all the nice planting. Looks like we're going to have a big storm shortly as well. It did give out some rain today, so we'll see what happens. But here we go. Rapids adventure. I think it rains every day here from speaking to people or a lot of days, you know. But here we go. Let's go and have a ride on Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure. Oh, they've got some big cattle pen queues here. Luckily, they're not in use today with it being quiet. But well, yeah, I tell you what, the queue line for Battlestar Galactica was great as well. Shame I couldn't film any of that. But yeah, really well themes, which was good. So yeah, we're making our way down here. With this one, you can bring bags on the ride. There is lockers outside, but they are paid. Uh, on Battlestar Galactica, uh, then the lockers are free whilst you are riding. So yeah, it's the same system as the other Universal Parks. And here's a look inside the station. Wow, no turntable. All the rapids boats here. Let's go on. Welcome back. We hope you enjoyed your tour. All of us at the Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure hope to see you again soon. And enjoy the rest of your day here at Jurassic Park. Well, we've just come off Jurassic Park Rapids Adventure. I thought we might have been able to take you on with that one, especially because we had to take our bags. But there were strict instructions when we sat in the boat. No phones and cameras oh, on the ride. It's a shame. I thought we might have been able to. That was absolutely fantastic. One of the best rapids in the world, in my Thank opinion. You guys know me. I don't like these water rides, but that was brilliant. I loved it. Like, I loved it so much. That is the best Jurassic Park themed ride that I've ever it been was on. Really I enjoyed that even more than Jurassic World that can be found at Universal Studios Hollywood. Uh, there was so much going on on the that as well. The was great, there was an indoor section, but the drop on there was so steep. So we actually went up a vertical lift hill, very similar to like River Quest at Fantasyland in Germany, and then went down the drop. Yeah, it was steep. It was, it was one of the steepest drops on the Luckily, rapid. Luckily we wasn't going backwards. Oh, that was so good. Yeah, we didn't get too wet no, on there. Um, the people with us got soaked yeah, on there. Um, yeah, there was so much going on. Lots of rock work, hashtag rock work, lots of... Uh, animatronics around there some great water features massive waterfalls i felt like there was even more theming and animatronics on there than the river adventure and that's because uh, it's a rapids isn't it the layout's longer you're moving faster on a rapids uh, with the boats on there as well with the ones where they kind of split in the middle so the water came right in that was absolutely brilliant the good part is um if you've been on the river adventure you know when you go on the lift hill on this rapid you actually get to appreciate the t-rex Good. Yeah, because it's above you in the elevator. Normally you wouldn't get seen really quickly if you got. I wish that we could take you on there, but yeah, you know, we always follow the rules at the parts, yeah, and yeah, there was no chance of filming on there. Uh, but it's an absolutely amazing ride, brilliant attraction. Okay. If you love the whole franchise of Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, get yourselves here to Singapore and give that you a ride. That. that was amazing, the theming on there. Maybe quite emotional with the music as yeah. well. Oh, it was stunning, brilliant attraction that. Right then, still here in Jurassic Park, we're going on Canopy Flyer now, basically like pterodactyl flyers. I'm so excited because I've never been on pterodactyl flyers, so I can't wait to go on there. We can actually ride it without yeah. a child. Like, I'm looking forward to this one. 20 minute wait, we can't use them express passes that we won on this one, so we're just going to join the queue and yeah, going to have a nice ride on here. I'm looking forward to this one. Good fun, I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that, it was so much fun. Yeah, it actually had a little bit of thrill factor as well. It had a helix on there as well, yeah, which was really good. Enjoyed that. That was fun. A lot better ride than pterodactyl as well. I we always joke about that because obviously you need a kid to go on it, but this was a lot better. This was. They should put one of these in Islands of Adventure. 
well. Yeah, definitely. You got this lovely little flat ride just over here as well, which is quite nice, isn't it? Oh, really? I think it's got dinosaur in, isn't it? It looks fantastic. It is nice, though, isn't it? I'm sure we'll come back later on and uh, have a ride yeah, on there. We've still got some more major attractions to get in, so obviously we'll come and do this later. But yeah, it's quite nice, that is. It's Charlotte, the dinosaur. <laughs> it's a very well themed park, though, this, isn't it? Yeah, like with all the flooring, it's all done, all the rocks around, audio throughout the park. You know, it's a fantastic park. I mean, Universal are great at what they do. And yeah, this is no different. It's really nice. An adventure 65 million years in the making. Fantastic. I tell you what would look nice just over there. A top hat, Velocicoaster. That would fit in well here, wouldn't it? In the future. Something they haven't got here yet as well is Harry Potter. So I wonder if that's in the plans for the long term. I believe they are going to be building a Super Nintendo world at some point. They did confirm that not too long ago. Um, but yeah, maybe Harry Potter at some point in the future uh, will be coming in. We know there's a Minions area that is going to be opening next year here as well. But yeah, look at this. Really nicely themed park. We're going to head round into Far, Far Away now, which is the DreamWorks area. Uh, try and get the outdoor rides in just in case they were to close because of the weather. Looks like they're doing a bit of maintenance work down here as well. Wow, look at this. Welcome to Far, Far Away. The castle there, absolutely stunning. Obviously, it's having some work done at the moment. So I think when you do look at the closer details, it does need a bit of refurbishment, especially when you look here. Um, well, that's the thing, you know, these parks, they're open all year. So yeah, they're doing the refurbishment on there. Looks fantastic, really nice. I think it's a 4D cinema inside there, I believe so. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Really? And there's the whole area of far, far away. It's nice to see this come to life, of course, from Shrek. All the facades around here, loads to see. And we've got another ride just down here, oh, another this coaster. Looks this looks really unique. Oh, look at this, Puss and Boots. There we go, the giant oh, journey. So yeah, we'll give this a go. Big beanstalk out the front there as well. Right. This is nice. Yeah, quite a few meet and greets throughout the park. It did say on the website there wasn't any at the moment, but um, yeah, that's nice that there There's is meet and greets. Meet and greet I want, and that's King Julian. You love King Julian. I love King Julian. You are a big fan. Who's the king? King Julian. <laughs> this area. I tell you what, I'm, this park so far has exceeded expectations. Like everybody said, oh, you know, it's a very small park. Um, it's not got much going for it, but I think it's got a lot going for it. Some very unique attractions. Like, look at that. The theming of that is fantastic. Puss in Boots, Giant Journeys. Yeah, five minute wait. Let's go on. Here's a look then inside the station. Yeah, the ride's actually built by Zamperla and it's the only one of these they've ever done. Yeah, it's really nice in here actually, really well themed. It's just covered over, so it's not a dark ride of sort. Just got some covered over scenes, some quite large set pieces I believe as well. Oh, it's not going to be able to film on there. Yeah, it does sound all the signs here. No photography or video recording, even though we are taking our bags on. But yeah, shame about that, but we are at Universal though. Like, you know, they are very strict on it. Good thing is, with this trip, quite a lot of the parks, uh, we've got permission to get some POV. So stay tuned for those. But yeah, we'll go and give this a go. Opened here in 2015. So yeah, it's five years uh, after the park opened in 2010. So it's not an opening day attraction, this one. Looking forward to it. there and yeah with that ride it's got some great scenes throughout the ride system is obviously very unique it kind of reminds me in a way of a budget Arthur at Europa Park yeah, I completely like agree. with the Mac powered family suspended coaster that would have been a better ride system for that in my opinion because there was quite a lot of show scenes however um, it needs some TLC that day I think the ride itself was quite good fun but some of the animatronics was really worn it needs an update to be honest yeah hopefully they're gonna do that especially with them you know repairing some of the buildings around here looks very worn out in that I think it would be better indoors as well. Yeah, a full dark ride. I mean, it's nice that you get some great views over the park and Singapore from on there. But yeah, it would have benefited more with uh, more, uh, the more dark ride Definitely. scenes or the whole thing being indoors. Just on top of the building, really. Yeah, it was good fun, though. I mean, there's quite a lot of block sections on there for it to run as many trains as it does. However, it was a good fun was ride. Okay, Had yeah. some little pops of airtime. Um, the lifter was quite unique. It's actually, with it being Zamperla, um, it's a Zamperla Valare lifter, <laughs> like, where it spins you round. Luckily, not a Valare. However, we have got one 
one of them coming up later in the trip in Malaysia. But uh, yeah, it was good going on there. Uh, my least favourite attraction so far, but some good theming on there. Just needs a bit of TLC. The castle's absolutely huge. Like, I'd seen photos of it before, but yeah, you don't realise how big it is. I'm glad that it's having some TLC done as well, because that'll look stunning when it's done. Yeah, this is lovely around here. Really nice themed area. All the pathways, all the lights. That's the thing about these parks, you know, like Universal, Disney parks, and even a lot of other companies outside of the UK, really. It's about the full package experience. Things like pathways, seating. Um, it's the full thing, you know, that really makes a big difference. Lots of great photo opportunities such as there. Yeah, really nice. You've also got another little coaster just over here. Little Vacoma Junior coaster with a very nice zero car there by the looks of it as well. In fact, we can just see it through there. And here we go, the coast is called Enchanted Airways. The wings are far, far away. Long name, five minute wait. Let's go and give it a go. It was a good fun little Vekoma Junior coaster that, standard layout, it was quite snappy. I actually quite enjoyed that to be honest, it was good fun. In a way it felt a bit more forceful than some of the others. It did, to be honest. Maybe it's the humidity maybe, affected it, maybe. I think so. Yeah, look at this fantastic view. Now this really reminds me a lot of Universal Studios Florida and a mix between Islands of Adventure as well. Um, like obviously look at all these buildings here, very similar to Universal Studios Florida. And then of course I keep comparing this to Hulk. Not even the same manufacturer, the same colour or anything, but literally just because it's a big section over water here. I think it's normally got water underneath the coaster there directly as well. Uh, but I tell you what, it's lovely. We've still got Revenge of the Mummy to come up over there as well. All the nice water features. And yeah, they have actually got a walk down this little pathway at the moment, round the side um, of Far Far Away, because they're doing some building work over the back there. So this, this used to be a Madagascar themed like attraction, it was like a boat ride, it looked quite good actually but I didn't realise that it wasn't open anymore. Yeah, it's actually been ripped out, we saw it just from on the coast, so yeah, they're completely ripping it down. But there is still a carousel attraction around here that's themed around a certain someone, what's his name? The King, King Julian! Hey, do a dance for King Julian, come on, there we go, whoa, starting the trip. <laughs> Lovely, yeah, we just had some nice fries around there, we're not really that hungry to be honest. I think it's the time zones and the humidity. This is a nice view just here, look, with the castle and the coast that are still in the foreground. Yeah, really nice, that is. I've had a great day here so far. Love discovering parks for the first time. You can't beat it. Just over here then, you've got King Julian's beach party go around. And here comes Charlotte on here. Hey, she's a big kid at heart. Aren't we all though going to these theme parks, having a good time? Hey, there she is on a big giraffe, absolutely huge. Yeah, really nicely themed this is here as well. You got all the lights up there, really cool. Look like you're enjoying that there then, Charlotte. Oh, really? There was like a funny track on there, it was like King Julian, it was really good. <laughs> Custom song for the ride. Beautiful carousel, really well themed really as well. Nice, yeah. I tell you what, this park has definitely exceeded both of our expectations. And we've still got quite a few attractions to see, including the mummy. Oh, one of our favourites. Yeah, we really enjoy it and then wait till you see this themed area for the mummy. You can see it in the distance there behind us. But yeah, with this it looks really immersive, probably the best themed area in the park. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that shortly. But yeah, this waterfront area down here with really the lake. Nice. 
Battlestar Galactica behind there. Um, some really nice attractions. It's a great park. I really like it. Very much enjoying it. It's always good seeing somewhere for the first time and especially a Universal Park. See, you've got the construction wall all around the side just there. So it'll be interesting to see if that carousel stays or if it remains with that theme. Because obviously the rest of the area is being changed into minions. Yeah, we'll see what happens there. But yeah, quite a lot of expansion room back there, it seems. Hopefully we'll see Harry Potter here at some point in the future. I didn't even know that cruise ship. Yeah, it's good that, isn't it? Hopefully they keep that up there. I mean, I'm not too sure. Like, it looks like it might be in the area for demolition. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, quite a lot of expansion room it seems here as well. We've done a full loop around the park now, so it's just kind of getting in the attractions we've not done. Still got quite a bit to see. Yeah, you got Miles just over there as well. Oh, good to see Miles. Nice Universal Classic jukebox just outside. Beautiful. Seeing lots of meet and greets throughout the park, which is good, including the Transformers down here. Greetings and well met, comrades. Yeah, we'll head on to the Transformers ride shortly. You've got a little spinning cups ride just over there as well called Accelerator. Quite a nice theme building. To so make our way down towards Revenge of the Mummy just down here. I have just seen Battlestar Galactica dueling as well, which is good. You're right there. My favourite is sweet corn. Oh, you like sweet corn on a stick, don't you? Busier now. Oh, look at that just there. What you got? Oh, a nice corn on the cob just there. Nice. It needs a bit of butter on it. There you go. Oh. Seven Singapore dollars, which is about how much in pounds? Oh, there you go. So, yeah, not too bad, really. Mm. <laughs> you having a nice day? Lovely day, thank you. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I just had some fries. We're not very experimental with the food, yeah, are we? But, we're not. hey, oh, that's nice. That is. There you go. Nice sweet corn for Charlotte. Right, we're going to head round to Revenge of the Mummy now, and this area looks absolutely superb. Wow, look at this for an entrance to an area. Absolutely awesome. Look at the scale of the theming down here. And yeah, we've got some performers out just here as well, which is really cool. Add into the ambience. Wow, the huge palm trees. And yeah, look at the show building. Like, it's so well hidden by this huge facade. But yeah, with this park, it's really easy to navigate. It's basically a big circle around the lake. It does remind me of like Islands of Adventure in a way with the layouts. But of course you've got a mix between your studio's attractions and IOA attractions and there's some unique bits here. It's a great park, it really is, but this is definitely the best themed area in my opinion. You know, Oasis Spice Cafe just over there as well. Like, this is absolutely amazing. Like this facade is huge, look at it. It's a lot better than the Florida facade. How's the ride going to be? It's a Premier Rides launch coaster, I believe it features three launches. And yeah, of course it's all indoors. 30 minute waits for Revenge of the Mummy, but luckily we won them fast tracks earlier. Or should I say Charlotte won them for us anyway? The express tickets from all your screaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's going for it. Enjoying that just there. Yeah, I cannot wait for this. Love a good indoor coaster. And yeah, this facade, really impressive. I think we'll see it a bit better from further back here, actually. Revenge of the Mummy. come off Revenge of the Mummy and that was very similar to the version that could be found over in Orlando wasn't yeah, it? Yeah it's very similar there was just a few like different animatronics and stuff in there. Yeah same audio roller coaster layout was the same from what I could tell anyway and uh, yeah some really good theming and props in there. It was a fantastic ride I mean you can't go wrong with the Mummy it's a really well themed indoor coaster and yeah it was good to get on there and give it a go. Yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant coaster it's just some fantastic effects now like all the fire and stuff really makes it yeah you've got like a big show scene where you've got fire coming up at the sides and in front of you you've also got the scene where there's fire in the ceiling this one wasn't done like a fake station like in orlando uh, there was another different animatronic there as well yes, there was indeed. and at the end we didn't have is it brandon, brandon fraser, fraser. <laughs> yeah we didn't have that at the end which i prefer nothing against the guy but i just think it takes away a bit from the ride there wasn't that on this no, one there wasn't. yeah i really enjoyed it and of course this themed area here it's is amazing so nice. and of course the show building behind us there is huge for this uh, and yeah you really get to just appreciate the exactly. scale of it out 
the front. Brilliant attraction, around 40 miles an hour top speed on that coaster, built by Premier Rise. And yeah, this was an opening day attraction here as well, when the park opened back in 2010. Fantastic indoor coaster. You can't go wrong with the mummy. It's a really pretty park this is. And yeah, here's another one of those unique attractions that you can't find in Florida. You got a little vintage car steam ride here in the Egyptian area. There you go, you got some movement around the side there as well. Great views of Battlestar Galactica just here as well. There's a look at it in action. Cyclone going around just there. Really enjoyed that, we'll definitely have another go. And yeah, it's gone much busier now. However, I just want to say a big thank you to the team here because they actually just messaged us on Instagram and were like, you know, with the park being busy, do you want some fast track? Yeah, so we gave us, which we really appreciate, so thank you. Yeah, we, I mean, we won them ones earlier, we but uh, yeah, they've gave us some wristbands now, which is really nice of them. Yeah, really appreciate it. You know, it always goes a long way when the parts reach out to us and, uh, and help. It's a shame we can't do any on-ride filming here, um, but it is what it is. We were kind of expecting that with it being universal. Good thing is, quite a few of the parts coming up, we will be bringing you POVs this trip, uh, if not all the rides on some of the big ones. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Well, yeah, I think far, far away looks amazing over there with the castle. And yeah, it's a great park. Really nice atmosphere here. Very much enjoying it. Back down here in the sci-fi themed area now. And yeah, this is all undercover here as well. Type of Transformers the ride. Yeah, I absolutely love this dark ride. I don't know if it's a clone or we're just going to be similar, um, but we'll find out when we go on. So yeah, let's uh, go and give this a go. Yeah, all the facades around here, everything's huge, done on a big scale. Fantastic. Orders to withdraw the AllSpark and transport it to safety outside the city. We can no longer guarantee its protection here on base. Recruits, we're heading out soon, so remember your orders. I'll let you run. Transformers the ride and yeah with that it's a complete clone of the one in Florida. It's a fantastic ride system but I really struggle with bad motion sickness in there. Yeah the good thing is about this park there's not too many simulator side functions yeah. so your motion sickness yeah, isn't too I bad. Uh, but I really do like that it's a good long dark ride as well it's probably about seven eight minutes in yeah. length uh, multi-level as well which is great. You saw a little bit of the ride system the big vehicles that you go round on uh, and yeah they vibrate and shake and spin and it's a mix between scenery and screens there is more screens than there is props in there however i do love transformers i think it's absolutely awesome and yeah there's just so much going on in there as well and it's actually pretty intense like there's some scenes where you're dropping down um and it looks like you're actually falling from the buildings and everything it's really well done very intense uh, some of the scenes in there as well and yeah it does move you about quite a bit like um yeah it's not like a standard dart right where you're just going you through and you're not moving yeah it moves a lot it's like a rough coaster in parts you know um yeah it's a great ride uh, another fantastic attraction here at universal studio singapore nearly said florida then it's not similar that one <laughs> now of course we are here in a studios park and a good studios park has some studio based attractions unfortunately universal studios florida took out twister and disaster i both really like them oh they were great better than jimmy fallon and uh, fast and furious that replaced them but they've got something here that looks very similar yeah have you seen anything of this online or anything i've really been looking forward to this i love a good studio based attraction it's lights camera action probably not going to be able to film any of it um but yeah this looks really nice in here like a special effects show hosted by steven spielberg himself so yeah let's go and have a ride on this looking forward to it they thrill they dazzle sometimes even startle but done well they never fail to take you a breath away Emergency broadcast system. A category four hurricane with sustained winds of 125 miles an hour is making landfall in New York. All residents are instructed to seek shelter immediately.
emergency broadcast system. The hurricane is now Category 5. Stay away from all windows and extinguish all flames. Repeat, extinguish all flames. And there we go, that's the magic of the movies, just resetting now here in the sound stage. That was awesome. Well, lights, camera, action was absolutely brilliant there, wasn't it? I didn't know what to expect, but that was amazing. Like seeing all the special effects and that big ship coming in at the end, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. that. Really good. Another good effect was like the windows being blasted yeah, off. Like the windows have been blown and they were sort of going up slowly. It was really good. Yeah, loads of fire in there as well. Fantastic. And we could film it. Which there we go, fantastic attraction, really enjoyed that. Yeah, not to be missed, because it's only got a small little entrance really, just off to the left there. And yeah, hosted by Steven Spielberg himself. Now, I've only got a couple of big attractions left to do now. One of them is Sesame Street Spaghetti Space Chase, which, to be honest, I don't have a clue what type of ride this is. We've read the prescription board and we still don't know what it is. No, it might be some sort of flying attraction, I really don't know, but uh, it says he's suspended anyway. So we'll, we'll go and find out. We have not seen anything about this. That's the mystery of coming to parks for the first time. And here we go, what a pleasant surprise. It's actually a suspended dark ride just here. I wasn't expecting that. I've not seen anything from this before. Yeah, let's go on, give this a ride. I'm not too sure if we can film or not. We will find out. <laughs> Big bird. Oh, up we go. Little screen on board as well. Yeah, suspended track dart ride. Peter Pan's flight at Disney, but themed around Sesame Street. Have no fear! I have everything under control! Quite a nice dog ride, a little surprise there as well. It was well. Like good fun actually, it was on the hunt for spaghetti. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of Peter Pan's flight, like yeah, all the lights the and stuff system. on there. Uh, but of course, Universal have also got one of them suspended dark rides, oh, ET, yeah, as well. Um, yeah, which is in Florida. So, yeah, that's the thing with Universal, especially here. Um, they've got some rides that are similar, uh, but they're either themed differently which is or good. Yeah, different things to see. Yeah, nice variety of attractions. Definitely. This is our final big thing to do though now it's Shrek 4D. I've never done one of these before. Yeah, it's closed now in Florida to make way, of course, uh, for the new Minions attraction opening this year. Uh, but they've got it here, and I thought we'll give it a go because, of course, it's in this lovely big castle. So, we'll go and see what it's like here, just in case there's anything different to see. Uh, I mean, the facade's really impressive. There's also a little ferris wheel somewhere around here. I haven't seen it yet, but it's like a junior ferris wheel. We'll see if we can find that as well. 
into the castle we go. Look at this, it's huge. Really impressive. There's Shrek just over there, did you enjoy that? I have to say, that was excellent. <laughs> I loved it, when we were on like, the horses and it was going like this in the seat, I thought it was really What was it going like? <laughs> we had a good laugh on there, didn't we? You were bouncing about. Fancy 4D cinema, really. But yeah, some nice effects on there as well, which is good that the seats move quite a lot on that, don't they? Yeah, it's probably about a 15 minute experience with the pre show before as well. Yeah, yeah, it was good. And I like Donkey actually from Shrek, my favourite character. I love Donkey. But there's Shrek himself. And yeah, I mentioned how they've actually got a little junior Ferris wheel somewhere. Well, there it is. There you go. It's quite pretty, isn't it? With the star cloth just at the top there as well. Yeah, it's actually built in the shop at the exit to the attraction. Like, that's really different. That's why I love coming to see different parks. You know, it's things that take you by surprise. I saw on the app that they had a Ferris wheel around here, but I didn't realize it was gonna be in here. Potion Factory, 100 wishes have been granted from that. And it's walk-on as well, oh, Magic Potion Spin. And the official name of the ride is, and there's my favorite, Donkey, just down here. Hello, Donkey. <laughs> there you go, and you got Puss in Boots there in the middle as well. That's quite a nice attraction in here. Well themed. Well, we've seen all the major attractions now here at this park and experienced them. And I tell you what, we've had a great time. And yeah, I just thought I'd show you Waterworld over here as well. So like I say, this is a big show that's very popular at the Universal Parks. Uh, I've seen it in Hollywood and love it to bits. So yeah, hopefully it will come back here at some point in the future. We are just gonna make our way now back into Jurassic Park because there's one more ride that we've got to do just around there. Small little ride, but Charlotte's running for it. She likes to look at this. <laughs> Yeah, let's go and check it out. Nice little flat ride. Oh, hello. <laughs> well, we saw it earlier on when we were here in Jurassic Park, but we thought we'll only come back to it if we get time. That's the thing, when you've only got one day at a park, which we have for all the parks this trip, um, then yeah, you want to make sure that you're prioritizing the really big attractions that you definitely want to get in. But well, we've got time for this. It's dinosaur in. So let's go and get in the queue. Enjoy those, Charlotte. That was brilliant. I really liked it. Yeah, good cycle as well yeah, on there. Quite long one yeah, though. it was fantastic. But uh, yeah, we're just going to do a few re rides now. Just under an hour left until ride close. Six o'clock just seemed quite early actually, especially because the park opened at eleven. It's you know. Quite busy to be honest. Yeah, it's certainly busier now. I mean, it was really kind of them to give us the fast track. Um, obviously that always comes in handy, especially when it is a one day visit to a park, you know, and that's the thing. I'm not a huge fan of fast track. I mentioned it in all the videos. However, I can completely understand why someone would want it, especially when you're at a park for a day. And that's what I say to people who come in Alton Towers, you know, if you're only coming for the day, Thought Park for the day, anything like that, Blackpool, um, you know, and you're coming from abroad especially, it is good that the parks do offer it. Uh, even though in general, I'm not a huge fan of it myself. Yeah, look at this down here, fantastic. Really well themed. All the rocks around the waterfall. Really nice. Yeah, we're gonna have a re-ride on the mummy just here. And of course, Battlestar Galactica, we actually had another go on Human um, a few minutes ago and it was warmed up quite a bit yeah, compared to earlier. I quite enjoyed it to be honest. Yeah, so I'll have another go on Cylon and see how that rides. But yeah, coming towards the end of our day here at this park, another Universal Park ticked off in the world. And you know what? It's really exceeded both of our expectations. It's a gorgeous park. Well, we've had another awesome ride over on Revenge of the Mummy. Fantastic indoor coaster. And yeah, good to get some re rides in today as well. Really being a shorter park day. Wasn't expecting it, so I'm quite pleased with that. It's going to be nice. Uh, Is that milk? There you go, £2.50 works out. And $4. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> nice water. Lovely. Right, we're going on Treasure Hunters now. This is that little vintage cars ride. It's a 30 minute wait, but we will see. Yeah, Express isn't included on this one. It's quite good though, it's quite well themed. Here we go then, wait about 10 minutes. 
It's advertised 30, so yeah, pretty overestimated. And there we go, around an Egyptian excavation site. That's the thing, not everything needs to be IPs all the time. Even though we're at a Universal Studios park, I like the fact that not everything's IP. Watch out for the hippos. Oh, you actually have to put your foot on the Oh, you actually, oh, right. oh, there you go. Didn't realise that. I thought it was just for show. Nice themed area, this is. We're going to get some good views of Battlestar Galactica as well. Oh, great view. And yeah, look out over there at the cable car as well. That brings you over to Sentosa Island. Oh, watch out for the snakes. <laughs> oh, look at the snakes. <laughs> Ah, I see, it just stops as part of the storyline. So the pedal is just for show, I think. Yeah, nice attraction, I do like it down here by the waterfront. Yeah, that's another hotel just over there. We stayed last night at the Hard Rock Hotel, so make sure you check out that vlog if you haven't already seen it. Good timing. Looks like maybe they do some sort of nighttime show down here. Different parts of the year as well. Not any time soon though. The hours seem to be 11.6 for the foreseeable from looking on the website. But hopefully visitor numbers will recover soon. Like we say, it's, yeah, it's not dead today. It's not heaving, but just a nice crowd level really. It's pretty basic effects on this, but it's all right for a filler ride. I just said this to Charlotte off camera, but for me, a good park has a big thrill ride like the mummy and then a family attraction next to it. And yeah, I think they do that pretty well here. little car ride that was yeah some of the theming could do with updating on there however i quite enjoyed it some good views of the park and battlestar galactica just had another ride on here actually and uh, yeah it was a front row which was good last ride of the day for us on there and you know what it was great to finally ride this coaster a bit of a bucket list for mine mainly because of the look of it off ride i always found it quite fascinating it used to have a blue track actually and obviously it's got a black uh, track now that one's always been red um, but yeah it's a really nice coaster especially the inverse I know it's really good to get on there and give it a go it does hurt you you though doesn't yeah, it that's the worst thing about it it's quite uncomfortable on the legs, on legs. yeah, yeah. really really tight yeah i do like it though it's a good ride a uh, fantastic park there we go battle star galactica well yeah the end of our day here at universal studio singapore we're just going to make our way up towards the X, have a little look in the shop, show you the merch, and then we'll wrap up the vlog. Oh, it's chilling. Kind of. <laughs> I'm back down here now in Hollywood and yeah I do like all the pink trees that they've got out for Lunar New Year as well. Let's have a little stroll through the shop now, show you some of the merchandise that they've got on offer. Yeah I do like the big Hollywood sign over there as well. Fantastic park, you know all these facades and the theming, brilliant. Yeah we've got the Universal Studios store right here. Well for $28 you can actually get the globe just here which is nice and yeah, it does say Universal Studios Singapore on the bottom. It doesn't say actually on the top part of the globe but I think that's really nice. Also I've just noticed this as well, look up on the wall over there. Rip Ride Rocket up there on the wall. <laughs> Now, as you'd expect, really, most of the merchandise is character-based. However, you've got some nice T-shirts just over here that say Universal Studio Singapore on. The quality doesn't look the best of the merch. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. I was hoping for a T-shirt, but yeah, the, these ones will peel off really yeah, easy, you yeah. know. So, yeah, shame, really, because I probably would have had one of these just here. But yeah, like, I'm just not, not a fan just printed on like that. Well, yeah, in terms of park-related stuff, that's about all really, this section down here. Obviously you've got lots of Minions merchandise, that's going to be the next area coming in here next year I believe. So yeah, Minions are really popular. Hello Kitty, that's big over that's here as big, well. Yeah. yeah, some nice bits, but yeah, it's a shame about some of the, the print quality really. Over here in the park. Well yeah, we'll make our way back out into Hollywood and we'll wrap up today's vlog. Well, there 
we go, that wraps up our first ever visit to Universal Studios Singapore. We both had a great day. It's exceeded expectations to be honest, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a really nice mix of attractions here. Uh, along with that, the theming throughout the park, that's what's really blew me away more than I was expecting. The Hollywood Street, the New York area, uh, the Egyptian area especially. Oh, really nice that one. That's probably my favourite. In terms of my favourite attraction here, I've got to say the inverted sides, uh, Cylon of Battlestar Galactica, yeah, that's really, really good. Yeah, it's really good, but just a bit painful on the legs. Along with that, the mummy was really good really as well. Good. It's been nice getting on some of the unique attractions here. I mean, the Puss in Boots ride, it wasn't anything spectacular, but it's, it's unique to work. this park, you know. Uh, and yeah, in talking of needing some work, I think there's parts of the park will need a little bit of TLC. Yeah, certain bits just need a little bit of a cleaner. Yeah, well that is coming. I mean, look at the castle down in the DreamWorks area. You know, that's got scaffolding on, they're clearly doing that. Some other areas of the park, we've seen them doing work. So I think that's coming, you know, maybe it's more of an off-season at the moment as well. Yeah. The pandemic's obviously really affected places like this too. Um, so hopefully we'll get back on the feet with that. We know there's expansions planned in the future. It wouldn't surprise me if we see things like uh, Harry Potter come here I'd at like some point. I hope so. uh, I think it would be great. I mean, they've got it uh, at the other Universal parks. I think it would be nice here to kind of complete the collection. It's a big draw to the park. It is, it? yeah. People love Harry Potter. It's really popular. And uh, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. But Minions are coming in, Super Nintendo World as well. And maybe Potter will come at a later date. I think the park could benefit from another major coaster as well. I think it's needed. Something like Velocicoaster, even if it wasn't themed to that. That, um, it would be good to see. And talking of that, yeah, the Jurassic Park Rapids, they were oh, really that good. that was really good. Yeah, I enjoyed the special effects show that we did, that we took you on. That was brilliant. Overall, it's just a really nice park. It is a one-day park. It's not a full two-day no. experience. Yeah. However, uh, the whole resort in general, you can spend a bit more time here than we have, There's I think. There's a lot going on. Yeah, of course, you've got the cable car, you've got the water park, you've got the aquarium, Madame Tussauds, um, loads of different things here to see. So, yeah, I think, you know, I would have liked another day to enjoy the rest of Sentosa, uh, but I've really enjoyed what we've seen and got it all in as well. Wow. Fantastic. There we go. Well, that brings us to the end of our time here in Singapore. Next one coming up, we're travelling to Australia. We are indeed. Oh, we are so excited. And of course, we've seen some amazing things already this trip. Make sure you head over to the Sandbrook Adventures um, so you can see our other content from the trip as well, because there's lots more coming up from there. Uh, and there'll be a link down below in the video description to that channel. Great visit here. Hard Rock was fantastic as well. What's not to look exactly. really? Another Universal Park ticked off here in Singapore. Well, that leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there, there and keep on riding we'll see you on the way to australia